Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Robbo's on the clock because you have a car picking you up. Yes, to take yes. you to LA oh, Galaxy. Yes, and it's quite a, quite a way, apparently. LA Galaxy Stadium. LA Galaxy Stadium. How long yes. will that take him? Uh, oof. This time of day, might be 45 minutes. I oh, did ask for a helicopter to fly me into the stadium, yes. but wasn't no. allowed. Wasn't oh. on the budget, apparently. Oh, that is Kieran, get away helicopter, yeah. wouldn't you, mate? No yeah, worries. Sort that out. The helicopter's mine back to my uh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> back to the hotel in yeah. five minutes. <laughs> Seb, with Inter Miami at the foot of the table, what are some realistic goals for them, considering they now have Messi, Busquets and Jordi Alba? Yeah, so uh, I was looking at the odds today, okay. and they've shot up to, even though they're last in the table, ninth best odds to win MLS Cup. How far are they from playoff berth? Uh, they are, I think, 16 points right now, something like that. Wow. 12 games to go, 15, 16 points, something like that okay. to go. They basically have to average like over two and a half points per game mm -hmm. in the last 12 to make it. I, I really thought it was impossible before I saw them play, but it's like somebody flipped a switch. They look totally a different team. The one worry is, is those games that he might lose over the international break if, if they really drop off big time over that. But the way they're playing now, they look better than any other MLS team has looked at all this season. So wow. I think they could win MLS Cup if they get into the playoffs. And for Open Cup, I think they got a great chance to win that. They're already in the semifinal. And for Leagues Cup, they are the favorite right now to win Leagues Cup. Think about that. The last place team in MLS. Wow. Yeah. What's that into Miami TV here? I mean, I mean, if you got any work over there, I agree. No, 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 no. I agree. It's uh, it's an incredible change. There's in the two team. home games in the Leagues Cup. But I think they're going to go. He I was think... the one that, that poo pooed Messi. Let it be known. I you were the I one. I did, did I? Yeah. You're raining on the parade. You're trying to. No, you're, I. You're throwing I, a wet towel no, on no, what we've Wait, seen. wait, wait. Don't put words, in, words into oh, my oh, mouth. Casey as well. Casey my as well. point was. Wait this... till he gets on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great for Messi. It's great for Inter Miami. In the long term, is it great for MLS? Like, are more people going to watch Columbus Crew because Inter well, Miami are doing That was my point. Yeah. So I, I feel like you've just taken it a little there. A bit and naughty, Seb, I would say. Well, Very disappointing. Okay, disappointing. Relax over there, car service. I thought you were mates, but obviously, obviously he's going to throw yeah, you under know, the since bus. He's been sat here I'll with stick us. up for you, Dan, for well, once. Well, thank you very much, like Robert. It feels a bit weird. Yeah, right? <laughs> for Kieran, from his Arsenal perspective, and maybe Robbo, since he's done some of the Arsenal games this preseason, thoughts on Ramsdale in the friendly against United and even against Barcelona? He didn't look that convincing to me. Worried about his form? Um, no, I'm not worried about his form. He's a top-class goalkeeper. He had a brilliant season last season. Um, keepers are going to make little errors. I'm, I, I like that he's getting it out of the way now, right, as, opposed to, as opposed to during the season. You know, that it'd be a wake-up call for him to be like, you know, put your foot back on the gas and, and get concentrated. They're just little lapses of concentration, in my opinion. Robbo, Robbo doesn't agree with me, though. No, I can tell I, you. no, I'm not a Ramsdale fan. I mean, he had a Do good season. Like him, Robbo? He had a good season last. He made some great saves, but I think he's a little bit erratic. I don't think he's particularly comfortable with the ball at his feet. He tries to make out he is, oh. but I don't think he always makes good decisions. And I like goalkeepers that just keep goal rather than screaming and shouting and waving their arms at everybody. You don't else. like people waving their arms around? Well, <laughs> I, no, I like. I played. You under, wave your arms around yeah, all the time, Robbo. I played uh, in front of Pat Jennings, who was just the calm goalkeeper. Nice. Google that, people. Great, go, great goalkeeper. <laughs> and he was calm. David yeah. Seaman at Arsenal was a calm goalkeeper. Google that. <laughs> yeah. But some of these other goalkeepers that wave their arms around and shout at everyone. If suddenly that goal was, was uh, Trossard's fault, according to Ramsdale yesterday. Oh, I see. Yeah. Kieran, how did you deal with goalkeepers shouting? OK, so mostly it was your fault, but if it wasn't your fault, the goalkeeper shouting at you. Goalkeepers, uh, they're, all, they're all crazy. Clowns. Right? And they're just all they're crazy. They're what, sorry? Clowns. Wow. wow. You get to know that early in the game in your career that goalkeepers are just a, a different, they're a different animal. So when they're so shouting you just, at you for something, you just... Yeah, you just, just, just it's in one ear. Out the other. Have you ever seen anyone give it back? I mean, like a little bit of a. Um, I've seen I've seen a few tiffs actually. I've seen yeah. tiffs with uh, Ben Foster. He 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 was he was a lively goalie. Oh really? He did, he with you mind, or with you? Because you played him at, with him at West, at West Brom. Brom first season at West Brom. Yeah, okay. yeah. He didn't mind telling people when. Uh, right, Wrexham's finest now. So I when know. he let a goal in, did you then tell him? <laughs> Not me. Uh, I left, oh, that, I left, that, to the, nice I left that. I yeah. left that to the to the Johnny Evanses and the yeah. you know the, yeah. the, the the scary the big scary centre halves. They're the only ones that could compete. You know what can I do with, with Ben Foster? You know, so excuse little me, me, Mr. Foster. <laughs> when you're playing for Wrexham in a few years, so I'm going to be sat here on FC with Stuart Robson. Yeah. So there you are. <laughs> you little know what's going to happen. Does Arsenal have better depth than Manchester City now, Robbo? I wouldn't say they've got better depth than Man City. They've got a good good squad now. I think the signings have been excellent. We talked about it earlier. Timber's a good player. Uh, he's not playing in his right position at the moment. 
Uh, Declan Rice is going to be outstanding. You know, he's, he's one of the best players in the world in that centre midfield position. He didn't play particularly well against Manchester United the other day, but over the course of the Were season... Were you Declan Rice-esque, Robbo, would you say, back in your day? Uh, I played a slightly different... When I first started playing, I played in that holding midfield yeah. role, but then I played further forward as right. my career went on to make more runs. More forward. swashbuckling. More Normally swashbuckling. it goes the other wow. way. Yeah, it doesn't usually go the other way, but I ended up playing further forward and yeah. making more... Not depending on who the coach was. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Declan Rice is going to be an outstanding player. Kai Havertz... And I'm with Kieran, who I know sort of slightly dismissed him in uh, the, the amount of money that was paid. Right. Uh, he's got to prove himself. If you're going to play in that role in midfield, as Xhaka did last season, where you get four, but you've also got to defend, you've got to defend better than he does on several occasions. But, I mean, with, with Kai, it's just we've not seen him in now that Kai, position. Not, now, it's not Havertz, it's Kai now. Kai Havertz. Havertz. Yeah. We've, we've not seen him in that position yet. And so, you know, we need to give him, we need to give him time. But I think that... I trust Mikel, I think, okay, you know. Mikel. In Mikel, we trust him. Exactly, oh, yeah. exactly. Mickey. When it comes to you going forward as you develop, like, how does that happen? Do you have a conversation with a coach saying, oh, yeah, I want to play more more advanced? No, uh, are you talking about when, when I was playing? Yeah, yeah, I'm just intrigued. I was uh, asking no, you a serious uh, question. John Cartwright came to the club, who was uh, with me uh, England Youth. He paid, he, when I was playing England Youth, he had me as a sweeper. OK. And then when he came to Arsenal, he wanted me to be the most dynamic of the midfield players and make forward runs in between the two centre-forwards and get on the end of crosses and all that sort of stuff. So he okay. tried to use my energy. Right. And Paul Davis became the holding midfield player. Okay. And that's how he worked it. And we, we had a good season. It was just a better orchestrator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paul Davis <laughs> orchestrated yeah. the play and I just had to run. That's it. That's all right. For Dan, who do you like winding up more, Stevie or Seb? Oh, I mean, that's easy, I think. No, I like... I, I don't go to wind up anyone. I just enjoy hanging out with you or Steve. Maybe that's the it. question is who's easier to wind up. Oh, you are. Really? Yeah, you yeah. bite very easily. It must be said. Yeah. I haven't everybody... seen Stevie in eight. Have you seen Stevie? I haven't seen can Stevie I, for a while. Can I tell you a, a funny Stevie story? He does. We're is not as okay? close. Yeah, we're not as. It's PG. Um, we're not as close as you are. Right. I get like three to four Steve Nickel phone calls a year, usually very late at night. <laughs> right. And and they are like I drop whatever I'm doing, uh, and I take that call because they're always hilarious. Was there an episode of Extra Time when the five a five aside thing came up? Yes. Yeah, recently. Yeah. Yes. And the question was basically like the presenters currently are in our prime against the and the journos. Yes. Against. You guys. That Gab Marcotti. Yes. Yes, he yeah. was going to be yeah. on our 5 Yeah, so it team. was Gab, Sebi, me, Jules, Sid, mm. against Craig, Stevie, Ali. Shaka was in there. Shaka was in there, and I can't remember who the fifth one, fifth one was. Don. It was Don. Don. Frank. Oh, okay. Don. Oh, Don. And so they're all in their prime. I'm oh, sorry, we're all in our prime. They are as they are now. Who would win that contest? Five aside. I don't think Stevie could run. I'm no, not sure Craig. <laughs> Don may be still quite slim, isn't he? Who were the yeah. other ones that were put in? Craig. Oh, Don rides a bike. No. Craig won't turn up. No, no, no. no. He's fucked. Can't be yeah. bothered. No. No. And Shaka, I think he'd still be a good goalkeeper. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Exactly. You don't have to be a great athlete to be a good goalkeeper. Right. I, so we talked for like an hour, and he was, he was absolutely convinced that they would that we would not touch the ball. Right, okay. And I, and I believe that today, which we are far out of our primes, yes. we would just absolutely destroy them. I'm, I'm convinced of it. No so way. Who would be your today, Sev. Today? No. Have you seen Gam? Uh, we throw Gavin goal. Yeah, but still, I can't Obviously. run. Uh, uh, what I uh, would you're say a striker. is, <laughs> I, I saw something I middle. thought I'd never see. What did I you see? I was in the double tree in Bristol. Okay. And I went in the gym and I was on the cross trainer doing a bit of work. And in came Gav Marcotti oh, and yes. got on the treadmill. <laughs> yep. And did half an hour run on the treadmill. Perfect. Do you Good. know where Absolutely I was at the double brilliant. tree? Hot tub. That's 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 the, that's the best part of the double tree. All right, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> All these guys are working out. For Kieran and or Robbo, should Arsenal loan out Smith Rowe? He was a super sub not too long ago, but now it seems like he's deep down in the pecking order. I'd personally like to see him at Dortmund. Wow, that's a... Mm. What do you think, Kieran? Um, I thought he's looked quite lively in pre-season so right. far when he's come on. I feel like he's made an impact, and I think he's a super player. I think he's had his injury problems last season, but I've got a, I've got a funny feeling that he's going to have a big season this season. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. I actually bumped into him in, my, in Miami uh, a few weeks ago, and I was chatting to him, and, you know, he's just anyway, come off the back of a Euros win. win. Yeah. I believe you. What's it like when you find yourself going down the pecking order? Like, how do you feel... Like going from like 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 when you're at Arsenal at first, obviously you're starting. Yeah, you're there, you have a good then, start. Yeah, like, I mean it's ups and downs of a career. You know, it, just, it happens. This this is football. You right. Know, this, when you went to West Brom, business. were you out of contract or did they come in for you? 
Uh, I, I had a year left on my deal, I think. Right, okay. And is there a time where you think, I need to move on, I want to play football? Yeah, sometimes it's personal reasons, sometimes it's um, playing reasons, but, you know... You, sometimes you they just don't want best, you. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make the best decision for, for, for yourself and right. for, for family, so... Um, but yeah, I think I think Smith Rowe's going to have a big season. Uh, he's just come off, off the back of a Euros win as well, which he which he done really well in. Um, so that'll give him a lot of confidence, I think. But he looks like he looks stronger. He looks a little bit faster. He looks like he's got his um, he's got his groove. Interesting where he's playing as well in the pre-season friendlies. When he first came into the side, he played on the left wing. Well, he's not going to get there because Martinelli and Trossard play there. He came on for Habits in both the games I've seen. Right. And playing in that uh, that more role, central. yeah, on the yeah. more central running. And he's a very, very good runner with the ball. Yeah. He'd glide past people. When he first came into the side two or three years ago in, in uh, European games, he was outstanding. He will be an outstanding player again. Seb, can you see Mbappe or Haaland wanting to come to the MLS near the end of his career? Do you think it would take a messy tight deal to get it done? Blooming heck, just looking ahead. Yeah. Uh, end of career? Sure. I think so. I think the, I mean, you can speak to this, but I think the American lifestyle is a huge draw to guys in Europe and guys from everywhere in the world. So I think this is proof that the biggest name at the height of their career, having just won a World Cup, obviously not the peak of his career from, from a playing perspective but I think you know coming off a World Cup comes here I don't think anybody else is going to look at this and say oh well it's it was good enough for Messi but it's not good enough for me so uh, I could see it absolutely how much of the pie they can give away is is interesting because they opened that door with Beckham we might we might give you a team a percentage of a team now they did it with Messi and you know that those guys if and when they were to come would probably ask for something similar and at some point um, you can only give away so much of the, of, the, of the pie. So I don't know where you draw that line. Those two dudes are not messy for whatever it's worth. Maybe the, one of them will end up being that. I don't think you call them dudes. You're a bit old those, to call people dudes. Yeah, those gentlemen, um, they're younger players. than me. Those players. Than, those players in Bappé Hall. <laughs> you're, you're older than me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but still, I think dudes come out of your it's mouth. It's extra time. I think we kind of like turn down the, it's not as formal. Yeah. I still don't think dudes should come out of your okay. mouth ever again. <laughs> okay, all right. I like it, Seb. Thank you. I like no, I don't like dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kieran, what was it like the first time you played for a manager as legendary as Wenger? That's not from Stuart Robson. No, certainly not from me. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was pretty surreal, to be honest. When I look back now, it was, um, I mean, I didn't even know I was going to, I was playing until when I made my debut um, in the Emirates Cup. Okay. Um, in, so oh, that was pre-season? Was that? Uh, that was pre-season. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were kind of drafted because there was injuries and people still away yeah. from, on holidays and stuff or coming back late. So he kind of just filled the spaces and we had two teams and uh, the second day, just realised I was I was starting uh, half an hour before the game, and that was um, I, I feel like I preferred it like that. Yeah, you know I didn't have to think about it so much. Um, but and what about surreal. your first team great. proper debut? Um, my first team senior debut was was against Sheffield United in the in the in the Carling Cup. Yep, which that, Carabao that's, Cup that's how long ago it was, mate. Yeah, yeah, Carabao Cup now. Um, Don't worry, he's Milk Cup. I think it was before that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he was just—he he was just—he uh, was just so different to, to. I think about other managers that I played for eventually. Right. Um, and I, I didn't know any different at that time. But he was just he was very calm. He kind of gave you a sense of um, belief and, and confidence without really telling you too much. He didn't give you—he he doesn't like to give too much information. He likes you to just go out. Keep and, it simple. Keep it simple, be free, enjoy it, enjoy it. Um, and yeah, that's what I did. Pick, oh, it's easy. Well, not easy, but it's, uh, it's simple. Pick, <laughs> start, bench, or drop, Robbo. Yeah, go on. We know who you're dropping. We know who you're selling. Mm -hmm. Ronaldinho, Neymar, or Kaká? Oh, Neymar, out. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, get him out. Kieran, he's really got a thing against Neymar. <laughs> no, what? No, oh, no, don't like Kaká. And Kaká was magnificent. And who was the other one? Ronald, uh, Ronaldinho. Uh, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, he'll be at the top. Who's that? Ronaldinho. Really? Yes. I didn't think you'd like him because he played with a no. smile, <laughs> like enjoyed himself. <laughs> but for several years, he was, yeah, he was absolutely he was magnificent. Special. He, he, was special. Special. he could do things that other players couldn't do. Yeah. Kaká was 
a very good player, an excellent yeah. player, and scored all those goals. Neymar, I just can't stand watching him play. Wow. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, that's fair enough, Robert. There's the headline. That's all right. Did you come up against Kakao at all? Did that coincide? I'm trying to think. No, no, no. No. Oh, damn. What? Oh, that old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at no, his press right. sense. He's not that old, is he? Not like us three. No, no, no exactly. What about Neymar? No, I didn't come up against him, but yeah. how similar eras. Been, how do you think that would have gone? It probably would have ended ugly, to be honest. <laughs> I, bet, I bet he rolled around and said that you fouled him and made the most of every tackle so you made. So, who's your three on this three? Um, oh, Ronaldinho at the top. Yes. For sure. Um, and then I would go... Yeah, I would go same with, I would go same with Robert. I loved Kaka, man. I yeah. So you argued with me when I said Neymar down at the bottom, and now you're agreeing with me. No, it's a tough decision. That was just easy for you. You yeah. just yeah, yeah. brushed him but off to the issues. side. He's a, he's a, he's he's a world class. What about which of these three do's for you? Uh, do you That's know? it. Sorry, mate. We ran out of time. Just a reminder, <laughs> man. ESPN FC will be back on your screens uh, tomorrow. We're off to Vegas tomorrow, Robbo. Excellent. Oh, yes, fun, we are. Aren't on the same plane. You're on the same plane. Oh, dear, dear, dear. First class, and you'll be in the old uh, economy, will you? I'm going to send Josh up to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.